Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is part two of the two part video um, I put up. The first part being I put up a few days ago. It talks about more about my dad's journey, going from congestive heart failure to his healthier version of himself now and how he's essentially reversed uh, kidney disease and is working on reversing diabetes altogether. Um, so if you haven't seen that video before clicking this one, please definitely go check that out. Otherwise, this part two video might not make much sense to you. Uh, I'll put the link though to that first video down below in the description. So check that out. If you haven't seen it, definitely encourage you to see it. It's a very cool uh, journey that he talks about. Um, but anyways, this part two video we're talking about what he's doing every day in his lifestyle to continue to re reverse the kidney disease and reverse diabetes as well. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about in this video, along with our favorite resources to use, uh, which we recommend definitely you checking it out. And then hopping right into the video, we're going to be going right into how my dad is using intermittent fasting to actually help reverse his diabetes as well. Um, and just for reference too, I'll be posting a picture up here. Um, check out what he looks like before and after as a reminder, if you haven't already seen that in the first video. Um, but it's pretty pretty profound to me so check that out and then right in the video where he's gonna be talking right about intermittent fasting I hope you enjoy right now I'm intermittent fasting which has another topic um, and tell us about that I saw a, a, a documentary from dr. Fung and basically what happens is this is what he explained about diabetes which I had no idea but um, he, he mentioned about a, a tofi which I know a tofi which it's thin on the outside fat on the inside so what happens is, is when you eat, you create this, this uh, fuel called glycogen. Um, and if you overeat, which a lot of people do, and I did for sure, you create an excess of glycogen and it becomes fat stores in your liver. And when your liver becomes saturated with fat stores, it starts dumping that excess fat into your bloodstream or glycogen, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it, it shows up as blood sugar, which is a symptom of diabetes, but it's not diabetes itself. So, so the way to try to help yourself with diabetes is to do intermittent fasting. So at the tail end of your fast, which I can tell you for sure firsthand, the first day I fasted, I was hungry just for a short period of time, but I haven't been hungry since then, um, second day and third day. And I was going three days, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I wouldn't eat for 20 hours. So in the 17th, 18th, 19th hour, I was burning fat stores in my liver, decreasing the amount of fat in my liver. Um, and that's really been crucial for me so intermittent fasting you're doing like alternate day intermittent um, fasting. well I may end up doing like two to eight I only eat maybe, maybe between two and eight right now I've been doing the warrior type of fasting which was three days and I did that intentionally because I have Friday night date night so I would actually eat three sensible plant-based meals Wednesday third I mean uh, Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday um, so what in a normal day in your life what kind of meals do you find yourself eating I do a lot of times in the mornings, I'll do oats, um, old fashioned oats with um, almond milk or, you know, oat milk or something like that. And um, maybe some blueberries because blueberries are high in antioxidants. So I'm, I'm, I'm eating for nutrition. Um, and it's also transitional food, which helped me get over the hump. I still do a little bit of it, but they have Beyond Meat burgers and they have vegan cheeses and stuff like that, which is all well and good because it's sort of like uh, vaping to a smoker. <laughs> um, you know, so, I mean, that's a crazy analogy, but that's really the truth. So it's well, a way, that was my two years. Yeah, it's a way to try to transition from one diet style to another diet style, but really the nutrients are the vegetables themselves. For lunch, I, I normally would do, I like doing salads, um, you know, as a go-to for lunch. It's just easy, right? Because you can just yeah, chop it up. Yeah, and, and it's and it's the kind of meal you can plan ahead. You know, you make a big bowl of salad and eat on it for two days, three days, or whatever, because. I do the Jethro Bodine bowl of salad, so just really big bowls. Um, and then for dinner, my wife is a great vegan chef, so I eat all kinds of stuff for dinner. Like we've got some chili in the pot right now in the uh, Inst pot. Instant Pot, which is highly re I recommend everybody looking into the Instant Pot if they don't have one because seriously, it is awesome. It does know? everything for you. Yeah, it does everything for you. Um, what other resources, though, would you recommend? I would say Forks Over Knives, What the Health, and yeah. Um, I highly recommend everybody watch the documentary Game Changers. Um, that was something that, that my daughter invited me to see, that she saw a trailer for it maybe back in July last summer. Um, what other, do you have any books that you would recommend? I always recommend uh, The Starch Solution, which I was actually reading to you and mom in the hospital. Right. When you got your um, 
what's it called again? Cardio version. Cardio version. Cardio right. version done the last time. Right. So that's what really that's what catapulted me into the journey I'm on personally. But then you like the um, Dr. Greger books. Yeah, I got all the Dr. Greger books. I met Michael, Dr. Michael Greger. What a great guy. So anything that he does, if you can look him up on YouTube, my, Dr. Michael Greger, How Not to Die is his series. He has another one called How Not to Diet. How Not to Diet. Which is a pretty right. good read as well. It's yeah. very, um, those books are very, very dense. So if you do read them, take your time because it is a lot of information to go over, but it's all really, really helpful. So if you're right. not sure what to do diet-wise, those books I would recommend because... If you're confused on what to do and you're dieting and yo-yoing and you're losing weight and then you're gaining it again and you're just sick of it, sick of it all, I would recommend reading those books because um, they give you a better idea behind all the stigmas and all the fad diets and really get down to the nitty gritty what really works well for right, that for sure. Right, and, I, and I've lived it, so I've got labs to prove it. That's the thing. And if I hadn't lived it, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be telling you this right now. But it's really what motivates me because... I see, it's always hard to see loved ones go through really, really rough health experiences. And it's something that I don't want to have to put anybody else through for myself. So that's personally why I'm on this journey, because I want to be the healthiest version of myself for my future family and my family that I have now. And I think that's the same reason for you now. Absolutely. As well. So, so do it for everybody that loves and cares for you, not necessarily yourself. So the little bit of sacrifice you make. It, the, the benefit is, is rewarded to everybody that loves and cares for you. Yeah. So with that all being said, what kind of goals do you have now? And what, what are you going to do to help achieve that? Well, I'm doing the intermittent fasting to achieve reversing diabetes, type 2. And I think I've already slowed down the effects of diabetes, which diabetes can be real detrimental to you, as you may know. I mean, you can lose your eyesight and limbs. All kinds of stuff can happen really bad. Uh, heart attacks. A lot of people have a heart attack before they even are told that they're diagnosed with uh, with diabetes. So it leads to all kinds of cardiovascular problems and stuff. But I'm going to reverse diabetes. I've already reversed the kidney disease or the effects of it. And um, and I'd love to be able to run one day again. Right now I'm on the treadmill a lot. And I'm, I'm working at almost a four mile an hour pace, which is like on the border of running. It won't be long. I'll be able to run like the wind. So, what other benefits, though, do you find from eating this way? You feel... Sleep. I didn't mention that. I sleep. And I, and I got a, a watch where I track my sleep. I sleep a minimum of six hours, but I've slept as many as nine hours straight without having to get up and just sleeping hard. That's good. REM sleep, and, and you heal when you sleep. Mm -hmm. So that's very important that you get enough sleep. How much sleep were you getting before that? <laughs> An hour and a half, two hours tops. And constantly getting up, like and you would go from sleeping in the chair in the living right. room to sleeping in the bed and then back. And then right. I feel a whole lot more energetic than I felt in years. All right, sorry to cut the video a little short, but that is actually all we have for you right now for the part two version of this video. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. And I definitely would like to encompass him into these um, vegan videos a little more in the future. So stay tuned for that and thank you for watching.